Hey guys, it's Jessica and I am back with another product review. And as you can see from the title, I am back with another Honey Chow Hair Love review. Um, I actually got some products from Miss Tasia back in September, I think it was, at Fro Fashion Week. Um, I finally had the opportunity to meet her and I love her so much. She's so sweet. Hey. Um, but yeah, this is my third, I think, video of reviewing stuff for this product line. Basically... I love it. <laughs> Basically, I love Honey Child Hair Love products. Um, really, really um, well-made products, really moisturizing. Just, I have really nothing but good things to say about this line. But let's get into it, shall we? Um, the first thing I got was the Lush Curl Custard. And if you watched my very first review of Honey Child Hair Love, the Lush Curl Custard has changed, and it has changed for the better. I mean... It was good back when she first put it out. It is amazing now. Um, what is in it is unrefined shea butter, castor oil, aloe vera gel, aloe vera juice, coconut oil, sunflower oil, vegetable glycerin, and a blend of essential oils for fragrance. And I got the... Mm, it's either Cookie Almonds or Almond Cookie. I always mix the names up. It's on her website. I will link it below. But I got that scent and... Mm. girl it just it just smells so good y'all know how I am okay let me stop but this is <laughs> this is what the consistency looks like and it's really a thick custard it's a custard y'all and this is what it looks like it's really nice and thick and slippery and I know a lot of people who love this stuff for twists I'm not a twister girl at all. If I do do twists, it's on dry hair um, and it's usually with a butter or something. I use this primarily as a wash and go and yeah, yeah. This is one of my top wash and go stylers um, that I use. I've used this about five or six times and you can't even tell. Like this still looks like a full product and she fills this stuff to the brim, to the absolute brim and I've used this about five or six times now. And I just, I can get five days worth of good hair. And I mean, by good hair, I mean, I can leave it down. My curls are defined. I have really good hold. I don't have to use any kind of gel over top of this. Um, my hair has movement. It's fluffy. It's soft. It's defined. I already said that. But it's just, it's really good. It's moisturized. Um, overall, it's just good. This is one of my top wash and go things. I know a lot of you ladies love it to twist with. I will be doing a tutorial because someone asked me to do a tutorial with this as a wash and go. So I will be getting to that. It's just all over. If you like a nice kind of thick styler for whatever you want to use it for, this stuff right here. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this, this curl custard. Yes. Um, really good stuff. The next thing I got was a Sweet Hibiscus Cream Conditioner, and it looks like this. And I do have a review up of this, but she changed it slightly. The color is a little bit lighter, um, and the consistency is a little bit thicker, I think. And the smell, mm, it's just a nice kind of sweet, sugary smell. It's not one specific thing that is calling to me but it's nice and sweet it's very light it doesn't linger at all so it's not very loud or anything um but uh this has ayurvedic herb or i'm sorry ayurvedic herb infused aloe vera juice dried hibiscus flower dried rose petal flower or i'm sorry dried rose petal um yucca root subtle alcohol sugar cane extract mm, fenugreek seed powder castor oil emulsifying wax coconut oil sunflower oil wheat germ oil olive oil safflower oil and a blend of essential oils um yeah this stuff right here let me show you the consistency before i start going all crazy um but this is what it looks like it's really thick and if again like if you watch my last video it was a little bit runnier but it's really thick and it's really light if you like a lighter conditioner, but it's still super, super duper moisturizing. My hair soaks this stuff up and is like, thank you. Thank you for giving me this nice little drink of moisture. It's just fabulous. And um, I use it as a co-wash and I also use it as leave-in. And 
quite frankly, I just need to stop tripping and graduate myself to the 16 ounce size because she does have a 16 ounce size because eight ounces for me doesn't do it for me anymore. Um, I do use this as a co-wash. It gives me really nice slip for detangling, but I love this thing. I love this thing as a leave-in gives me so much moisture is nice and slippery so I can distribute it really easily through my hair it's just it is everything and more for me please don't change this Tasia please 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 and I'm still waiting on my gallon you ain't got to do it today or tomorrow but when you can I, I would like a gallon that's how much I love this stuff um, this is definite staple this is definitely HG you can use it as a co-wash um, she also says you can use it as a deep conditioner to put on a shower cap for 30 to 45 minutes and rinse I also use it as a leave-in so this thread here is a little triple threat this is this stuff is good okay that's that um, <laughs> the next two things are actually new to me that I got um, and the first of being the avocado truffle hair milk and this is a conditioning daily moisturizer it looks like this um, and it's kind of like a, um, a light green color but I know she has broccoli seed powder in that so that's maybe why but she also put a nice little pump on this which thank you because this stuff is really really thick um, but basically what it has in it is distilled water, settled alcohol, satirical alcohol, emulsifying wax, broccoli seed powder, fenugreek seed powder, slippery elm bark, burdock root, yucca root, marshmallow root, which I love, um, aloe vera juice, and citric acid. And basically the directions are to use a small amount per section of hair to moisturize and condition dry, thirsty hair. So I have used this quite a bit. I'm actually, I probably only have maybe two more uses out of this. Again, this is eight ounce bottle. Um, the smell, this is one of them smells again that I can't put my finger on. It's, um, it's not a sweet smell. I mean, I wouldn't classify it as sweet. It's got a little bit of sweetness in there, but I just can't, before doing this review, I was smelling it like a fool trying to figure out what it smells like, but it's a nice smell. It's not, um, you know, an offensive smell at all. Again, it's really light. Um, it's not sweet. So if you like more mellow kind of earthy smells, I would kind of put that in the category, but it's not like really, really funky either. Um, overall, a really nice and smell. And I'll show you the consistency like this. If it'll come out for me, it's really thick. So that's why I really like the pump. Um, but it's just really thick and creamy and it's just... Again, I use this as leave-in because I don't um, really like water-based products as my moisturizers anymore. Um, but it looks like that, and it goes into your hair like really, really smoothly. Again, you see how thick it is. Um, it's not tacky at all. It's really just nice. has a really nice consistency. has a really nice texture. Um, again, I do like to use this as leave-in, and it goes in my hair really nice. It goes on wet hair really, really nice. Um, I wish, though, it had just... A hint most slip I had I wish it had like a scotch more slip um, but overall again gives me really great moisture um, all around really good um, for those of you who like a thicker moisturizer definitely could see how you how you would like this um, so yeah that's the avocado truffle hair milk and last but not least this is the hair nectar leave-in conditioner and it looks like this and if you can see down here it says kinky she also has one for coily textures so um, I'm assuming that the kinky one is slightly different to cater towards kinky hair whereas the the coily one is catered toward looser curls um, I have not tried the coily one um, so this one has the purified water marshmallow root nettle leaf uh, burdock root German chamomile raw honey aloe vera gel candula flour unrefried shea butter dandelion root hibiscus leaf castor seed oil coconut oil btms and subtle alcohol and this is what it looks like again and the smell mm, it's again girl messing with my smells it smells really really good it's kind of sweet um it's very kind of similar this one's a little bit sh more kind of sugary sweet um and this one smells kind of more like a flower, I guess. <laughs> um, but it smells really good. And I'll show you the consistency. If I can get it. Again, this stuff is really thick. Um, 
I would like a pump on this too, please. But I'm just saying, you know. Um, <laughs> uh, but this is what it looks like if I can get it to come out. Really thick leave-in, really creamy, really, again, just really, really, really nice. Goes into my hair beautifully. My hair loves this stuff, drinks it up, has really nice slips. So if I'm following it with the... Um, if I'm following it with the Lush Curl Custard, I have no issues. Um, I have used a gel over top of this. Goes along great with most of my gels. I haven't had really any other issues um, with any of these products kind of mixing and matching with other products, not from this line. So everything plays nice with all of my products I have in my stash. Um, again, just a really nice leave-in. Between these two, though, um, I actually, as a leave-in, prefer the Sweep cream conditioner just because um I don't know my hair just likes it better so but overall this this is a really good leave-in I know a lot of people love this leave-in um so if you're looking for a leave-in you can also give this a try um if I had to pick my favorites uh and I've tried a lot of stuff from her let me think if I had to pick my favorites y'all already know it would definitely be the sweet hibiscus conditioner it would be the lush curl custard um, and she also has a butter and I'm not hundred percent sure that you still make this, but it's that orange peel butter, that stuff right there. I did a review on it in my second honey child hair love video, that orange peel butter mm, smells so good. And it's really, really nice butter. So, but definitely these two things, if you just wanted two things to try, definitely try the Lush Curl Custard and definitely give um the sweet hibiscus cream conditioner a try um if you prefer a thicker leave-in though definitely um try the hair and nectar leave-in because this is slightly thicker than this so yeah those that's my review um overall love the line love all of her stuff tasia is just super super sweet if you have any questions about anything in her line she is more than happy to answer them uh shipping is super fast Everything is packaged nicely. Everything is, you know, arrived safe and everything. So, yeah, Honey Child Hair Love, check her out. Um, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.